Hello, I am Suyong Ri. I'm an associate professor in the School of Information at the University of Michigan. Um, I'm studying people's credibility assessment in the process of their information seeking and searching. Um, and recently, I got a funding from MacArthur Foundation where I had a chance to study people's credibility assessment behavior um, in two different contexts. So in one um, part of, um, like a half of group of people were asked to do, like um, search some information about health or travel and uh, product and news. And then the other sort of half um, group of people were supposed to um, sort of create the content that go into blogs. The objective of this study were when they had this kind of different goals and different information activity going on, you know, do they actually make uh, different kinds of assessment in terms of trustworthiness and accuracy um, type of credibility assessment or um, they sort of tend to be more sort of consistent. What I found most fascinating is that um, they actually do, um, they do not necessarily make um, more sort of, a, um, they, they are not necessarily more concerned about uh, credibility when they create the content. That's more or less what I assumed. However, uh, um, they actually um, make more effort when they are searching certain things. And then we sort of speculate that it's because when they create the content, that's where their focus is. So they are trying to make sure that they spend more time into content creation, while um, when they are just uh, engaging in searching, that's their primary task. So they actually tend to be more concerned about credibility, and then they are making more effort to trying to make sure they are getting um, best and quality information. Um, the other thing that what we found was that um, when they make more effort um, in terms of what kind of sites they are going to select, and then um, kind of like a quality information they are getting, actually they feel at the end of their search, uh, their at the end of their task they are more satisfied with their performance, and then they also felt that they learned more. So what was really fascinating about um, this particular project is that um, credibility is not really discrete, sort of one-time sort of evaluation. Credibility assessment is related to what kind of goals that they are engaging in, and then what they really um, trying to achieve and then also how that really uh, influence their perceived outcome of their task. Um, the other part that I also found is that depending on the topic, whether they are engaging in sort of health and news versus like a travel and product, they actually evaluate um, what's called uh, user generated content um, differently from traditional media content. Obviously, when they are looking for information for product and travel, um, they actually prefer to get the information from people like them, you know, like um, user-generated content. So that's another interesting finding. So I wonder if um, the variance you found in uh, whether they trusted uh, sort of traditional authorities or people like them, user-generated content, um, you've found a variance by topic area, but I wonder whether within topics, whether there's a whether it's the type of information within the topic. So for example, for travel information, you may well trust other users for how is this hotel, but for how much the hotel charges or what its, what its street address is, you're probably gonna trust, I'm gonna guess, you're gonna trust the hotel more. So I wonder whether the variance that you found by topic area is actually a variance, the variant varies by the, um, so liability for the information. Right, exactly. So that's why I think the travel information actually, um, the results were really mixed. And then uh, because the travel information has all these multiple dimensions, so it's not like um, now one way or the other, we measured the credibility in terms of three areas. One was like more sort of believability, whether you can trust this one, it is reliable information. We also asked them whether this is objective information. 
um, accurate information, that's a sort of a quality measure. And then we also ask them, you know, how they really felt about it. It's more sort of affective side. Um, it was easy to understand. It was more sort of like relevant to my experience and so on. So in terms of travel information, they like to get more sort of this kind of objective information from more sort of authoritative source. And then um, they can believe, but when it comes to sort of easy to understand, I was able to really use this information, this kind of user reviews were better received. So um, credibility itself has a, uh, multiple dimensions, and I, we were trying to include sort of believability, quality, and effective factors or. Uh, so I, this is, I hadn't thought this through, this question, but um, I, wondered, I wonder whether, um, in some cases, whether it's the object, whether objectivity is the criterion or whether it in fact is liability. So um, if a hotel gives you wrong information about how much they charge, they're liable for that. And so you tend to trust uh, price information that comes from the hotel, whereas another person says, yeah, I think they charge $99. That person's not liable, and so you're unlikely to trust it. Um, I wonder whether liability is a, either a, the, the proxy for objectivity, whether objectivity is a proxy for liability or whether it's a, there's some other category of liability that also affects Yeah, we didn't actually really include the liability, but I think that um, that goes into both sort of objective um, like objectivity measure and then also reliability measures as well. Were, um, were there variants, variations based upon age or socioeconomic or gender you or know, anything else? Right. It was interesting because we uh, look at not um, economic socio status, but we look at in terms of age group because we have a pretty a range of um, age in terms of their participants. We had uh, 64 people and um, we had actually, like average age was um, 49. So you can see that they are more sort of middle-aged than old um, senior people. However, we didn't see actually much difference in terms of age or gender. That's really and surprising. Then, right, it is surprising. And we also asked them whether they have prior experience with the content contribution. And then those people who are sort of more experienced with the content contribution would show different um, like um, patterns in terms of credibility assessment, we did not find um, significant findings there either. So those were the, yeah, unexpected. Uh, so um, what should we learn from this study? Um, we should learn that, um, like, you know, a lot of people are more and more sort of engaging in this kind of, kind of a content contribution. and. People are not really aware of the, what are the sort of consequences of sharing this information um, publicly. We um, sort of gave them some sort of like a scenario to develop, but those are not necessarily like a social networking sites. Like we were very specific about um, the information that you are posting here is going to be sort of shared, but um, credibility was not a really primary concern for them. And um, I think that like a lot of credibility research has been sort of focused on only like a finding and then um, the, like sort of looking for information for themselves. But I think that we are living in like a, what's a so-called Web 2.0. So it is important to, to just pay attention to the uh, behavior of content creators. We know, we have a lot of research about, you know, what motivates them to be um, sort of posting the content and so on, but we have a very little study about when they post this kind of, um, any sort of like a really content online, you know, uh, how they really um, make a credibility assessment, are, we, are they really aware of so like a consequences of sharing? Do they really double check or verify the information? None of them are really actively um, happening. So those are the sort of area. This is really the one of the first one, uh, tends to be really the exploratory still. So I think that there is just more research to be needed. Thank you very much. Okay.